Welcome to Bloomberg Law. I'm Lee Pacquia. One of the most controversial elements of the Dodd-Frank Act centers on the so-called whistleblower provisions, an aggressive set of rules put out by the SEC aimed at improving corporate governance. Joining us now to discuss is Rory Kessler. She is the managing partner at the law firm Traub & Sanders based in New York City. Welcome. Thanks, Lee. All right, so let's jump back and take a look at Dodd-Frank and the whole. A lot of people are making uh, a, lot of, a lot of noise about the whistleblower provisions. Is this the big Megillah when people look at this, uh, this law? That is the big Mogila indeed. <laughs> that, that's sort Why of is the, that? Why does it cause so much anxiety? Because the bounty provisions of the Dodd-Frank Act really create a terrific incentive for an employee um, to turn their company in. I mean, that's the simplest way of putting it. And then the law also provides that the company can't retaliate against that person right, for notifying strong. the SEC. Very strong anti-retaliatory provisions. They actually expand the statute of limitations on that. They provide for all sorts of damages. So you have someone, let's assume it's someone in your accounting department. They go to the SEC, they turn your company in, and they keep working there forever. And they become really a government watchdog. The numbers, just in looking at this before we jumped on, are extraordinary. Something like, if it's over a million dollars collected by the SEC, the whistleblower can get somewhere between 10 to 30 percent of that, based on the that's nature it, of the information it. they provided? That's exactly right. And from what I understand, there's roughly 30,000 complaints filed with the SEC already. That's a lot of money. How does this change the world for directors and officers of companies? It's got to be something that just has everyone up late at night. Uh, I think it, it really, uh, well, I think to begin with, they have to find out what their company's compliance um, uh, practices are. They want to make sure that there's all sorts of compliance provisions in effect so that they at least can't be sued mm. and by the government in particular for not having, being on the watch while the compliance function, you know, went to sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think every company's compliance office has to be beefed up. There have to be incentives for someone to come. And this is something that the SEC actually attempted to tweet. Mm. Um, to, to There has to be something there that mandates that if they come forth to the company before they go to the SEC, they get some sort of reward or something, some protection. Uh, the SEC has put into place some regs that say that if you go to your company before you go to the SEC, there's a safe harbor for going to the SEC. You still get the bounty. Mm. And actually say that there's a benefit to going to the company. They'll up the bounty. So they, their discretion is between 10 and 30 percent. If you go to the company first, presumably you'll get more than the 10 percent. It's got to be an amazing amount of work for the SEC. Do they have the bandwidth to handle all They're of this? They're hiring for this. They have $400 million, from what I understand, for this program. And what, what does this all mean for the legal community? Is this the new Sarbanes-Oxley for uh, this generation of lawyers? Um, yes. Yes, I would say that that's, if, if that's the Just identifier, yes. But I think it's even more of a, of a watershed event than Sarbanes-Oxley. It actually puts Sarbanes-Oxley uh, to shame. We'll have to see how it goes. Rory, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. That's Rory Kasserer. She is the managing partner of the New York office of Troutman Sanders, based here, of course, in New York. If you'd like to learn more about the cases or issues we just discussed, go check out our offerings on BloombergLaw.com and also on the Bloomberg Terminal. I'm Lee Pacquia. Thanks for watching.